On the menu today, join us for an epic adventure as we try to pinpoint exactly where the cliff is that the killer truck crashed beneath. Spoilers, at the end of Steven Spielberg's first movie, Duel. And then we hike through treacherous landscapes to see if part of that legendary truck might still even be there. Do we find it? Welcome to Retro Recipes. Retro Recipes, a pixelated flight into the nostalgic world of a man whose tech no longer exists. Parafractic, a grown-up young loner on a crusade to champion the cause of innocent childhood nostalgia. The curious, the powerless, in a world of distracting peripherals that operate above old-school law. Ghostbusters! Go anywhere, okay, buddy? Good heavens, and I thought Michael was difficult. And now we're back at the studio. We can do some research on Duel, a thriller that's been fueling my curiosity since my teenage years back in the 1980s. And I've spent decades fantasizing could a piece of that monstrous truck be fossilized beneath that cliff? Directed by someone called Steven Spielberg in 1971, Duel captivated audiences with its high-octane scenes featuring our road warrior, played by Dennis Weaver, in his trusty 1971 Plymouth Valiant, fleeing from a faceless fuel tanker of doom. And a fun Perry fact, Spielberg once said that those multiple license plates on the truck suggest that the similarly faceless driver is an interstate serial killer. Yeah, that's really taken the fun out of this, hasn't it? Oh, let's move on. So, the original made-for-TV flick featured just one 1955 Peterbilt 281 truck. Yep, unlike Knight Rider, which had a whole trans army, this was a one-truck show. And spoiler, it didn't survive the final cut. Crash and burn, baby. And another Perry fact, hopefully more fun than the last one. The 1960 Peterbilt 281 was made as a stand-in, just in case that main truck broke down, as indeed it was threatening to do through the whole shoot. But that replacement never got its 15 minutes of fame and actually isn't seen in the movie at all, contrary to what you might hear in various places. It is still alive though, which is cool, and owned by the very brave Brad Wyke, but for us, we're in search of the real screen used thing today. Now it's worth noting, when Spielberg pumped up the film to full 90 minutes for theatrical release, he drafted in a Peterbilt 351 for extra scenes like this. Now, rumour has it that that newbie sadly got scrapped on another movie just after. Talk about a short-lived Hollywood career. But anyway, we mustn't let this intro drag on. Let's roll. The OG truck is the real star here, and it almost gave its stunt driver an Oscar for best exit. You see, a rope designed to keep the steering wheel pointed straight came free at the very last minute, threatening the truck to swerve off its path before going off the cliff. And knowing they only had one take, stuntmen and the actual truck driver himself, Carrie Loftin, stayed in the driver's seat, jumping out just in the nick of time before its cliff dive finale. And that's why you see this unintended open door policy as the truck takes its swan dive. So there's the context and the background, and now it's time for us to take our leap. And joining me on this dueling quest is Dini Fractic. Dini Fractic, hi. And we've traded in Kit for Kit Tesla. Satellite mapping of lost trucks for the win. Can you find us a better way, Kit? My data banks have nothing on it. Or maybe not. But first things first, we thought we'd take you out to lunch at the infamous dual location where David Mann, played by Weaver, crashes into that fence, then goes in for a bite, only to realize the truck driver is one of the men in there with him. And would you believe the restaurant is still there and mostly unchanged over 50 years later? And it's been transformed into an upmarket French restaurant. Not quite what you expect to find out in the desert wilderness, is it? Ho ho ho, how romantic! And it is really fun to line up the scenes because would you believe, yes, that original booth is still there. Although they've moved it into a slightly wrong location for some reason. So he actually sits somewhere here, right. but they've moved the booth yeah. to there. If I owned the restaurant, I would recreate everything exactly how it was in the day. And in fact, the staff told us that the booth was in a different window in the movie. But I think we can safely say it is this round one, not the square one they pointed us to with a different hill seen through it. So do you feeling romantic? Oh, bonjour, mon ami. Oh, très bien. Très bien. Français. Cheers to our great friendship. <laughs> it's good luck. 
And to you, my friend. Mm. Au revoir. Bye. Dinner and a view. Yeah, this would have been the entrance door, okay. which means the bar would have been just here. He was sitting there. So it's very small, actually. Hmm. And belly full, it was pedal to the metal. Now, after playing detective on Google Earth and pestering the land managers, who are so completely over dual queries, by the way, I think it's possible that they've got their geography mixed up. To see what I mean, let's follow the action on Google Earth as the truck chases David Mann up the cliff. And while they do their thing there, I should note that out of respect to the landowners, I'm not going to give a lot of detail like full addresses in this video. I just don't want to encourage any trespassing, as I'm sure you can understand. But that said, the general locations are very well documented online and won't be too hard for you to find if you're as determined as that truck driver or as nerdy as me. You just didn't hear the location from me, okay? And the first thing that becomes clear is that the journey the car is taking suddenly stops making any sense in relation to the actual geography. And of course, that's because they would have shot the car from various angles on different strips of road up on the cliff to make it look like a longer journey than it actually was. Which means that, in fact, it's impossible for us to track the location on Google Earth by using the footage. But yes, eventually the truck goes off the cliff. And if you're waiting for an explosion here, well, we've got bad news for you. The truck never explodes and it was never intended to. The movie studios wanted that big explosion, especially with flammable being written on the side of the truck through the whole movie. But Spielberg wanted to show the truck dying like a wounded animal. And this only emphasized the suspense and psychology compared to an obvious big explosion. Some would say that it gave a more realistic and haunting ending. And it certainly does make it unique and unexpected in a way. And when it settles, we get just one shot of the surrounding landscape below the cliff to help us pinpoint our drop zone. And as you can see, that land is green, hilly and expansive, with this distinctive mini cliff just here. Now, the land managers, including someone who worked on the movie, have told us exactly where they are certain that the truck crashed, even if they're not my biggest fan. So let's hop into reality mode and check out the location in person to see if it's a match. <laughs> Here, yeah, let me help you. Hey, oh, it's too late. It's too late. Oh man, look at that. That's our precipice down there, isn't it? Yeah, if only I knew what the word precipice really meant. The precipice is the edge of a I cliff. Know. Okay. <laughs> I know. Yep, this is definitely it. Look, at, there's the slip road. So just imagine 50 years ago, Spielberg was right here. Was? With the film crew. What, he's four foot two? He's right here. Okay. So look Dennis around. Weaver tried to make this left and smashed into right into right. there. Yeah. Could there be some of the car left? It could be. <laughs> Should we just have a look? Nice bit of chrome bumper. For how much landfill and rockfall there's been over 40 years, anything from that car is going to be half a metre yeah. below there. Stick okay. to plan A. Right. Okay. Please do not put signs on poles. The irony. Okay, here we are. Here we are. There it is. Oh my God, it's a truck. Now it's a mattress. It's a mattress. So look, if this was it, all of this is now flat. Yeah. Is it your theory that they flattened this out? Well, only this first part. I don't think the canyon going off into the distance that we see no. in the movie is, no. is anyway here. No, if you look behind us, there's nothing. That's a lovely height though, isn't it? But we could be yeah, standing at the bottom of any of these yeah, hills and know, say, that yeah. looks perfect. Yeah. But look, there's no trespassing signs here. <laughs> That's because someone's stolen them. <laughs> and I guess I can see why to the land managers, it would make sense that Spielberg would have used a really easy to access location like this instead of a hilly remote one. It is just off the main road after all. But maybe for Spielberg, that was just too easy and he wanted it to look more desolate. Our on-the-ground reenactment just isn't sinking, is it, with the dual cliffhanger? I think we can all agree that these two landscapes don't match. And Dini Fractic makes a good point. Could this patch of earth have gotten a makeover in the past half century, quarrying and such like? Well, spoiler alert, nope. My satellite map time travel reveals it was just as flat even two years before dual hit the screens. 
But wait, swivel the camera and check out this lift top round to the right. Bingo, that is definitely it. It, it feels like finding a twin that you never knew you had or something, and yet maybe you're both called Cliff. Yeah, well, anyway, no offense to the land managers, but I'm just certain the jewel truck actually took its final bow right here. I even found an old photo from someone on a 2011 film shoot up there, and if you forgive the different perspective of both shots, it's immediately possible to make out identifying landmarks. The mini cliff, this triangle patch, the sneaking formation here, and the sloping hill to the right. Though I don't see any truck, although that would be deceptively far away and likely hidden by dirt and brush by now. So the million pound question is, how do we get to this X marks the spot? Well, one possible pathway is accessed via school property. And according to California law, school land is public land, which would mean we'd have a right of access. But, and big but, there's a fence that says, nice try, but no entry. Ah, fiddlesticks. And yes, quick note, we've made one agreement with ourselves. If we see any no trespassing signs or any fences, that's it, game over. The only doors we're opening here are the ones that are already ajar and seem to be on publicly accessible land. And needless to say, the top of the cliff where the truck went off and where they filmed, that is obviously private property and we won't be going up there. Well, with that said, it's easier said than done, my friends. Finding an access point is like searching for a truck bolt in a haystack or something. Plus, Katesla's not exactly a dog person, if you catch my drift. Dog, go away. I said, go away, dog. Very well, then. You leave me no choice. And that's known as man's best friend. That is not a fire hydrant, you flea-ridden furball. Scoot. I said leave. Now. Well, I didn't want to yell, but you left me no alternative. Actually, I rather like dogs when they behave. And the dog's kind of curious. Hello. I have been here for only a few months. Okay. So Hi, baby. So your land is, Hi, is quiet. So this from Steven Spielberg's yeah. first film, the big finale was shot over there. Do yeah. you have any objection if we take a look up this pathway? No, well, this is part of the property. Yeah. You know, and uh, it's a private property, but you guys can go ahead and take a look. Cool. Thank you so Thank much. You. We didn't get killed by the dogs. We just spoke to the owner just to confirm that we have access. So we're hoping to find a little bolt or, 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 maybe a, or a badge off the Plymouth or... Let's see what we see. Cool. So... We are here. Uh -huh. We are going to follow the tributary. Straight, 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 and then it bends right, which we think is the bottom of the cliff. More locusts. Yeah. We see four horsemen. Let me yeah. know. Yep. According to the map, we started here. Okay. We're now there. Yep. And we've got to go there. So we're almost. I'd say we're third. One, one third. Yeah. Yeah. There we gold in think? their hills. Gold or steel. Mm. Our fatigue is really starting to head in now. Wow. Set in now. We've been walking for... Oh, wow. Wow, wow. <laughs> Look at this view opening up here. It's like that media crater. Media crater? Media. You sound American, dude. You're, you're British. Dude. Look at this, dude, mate. Wouldn't call me dude if you're in England. Blanca. Look at that. Jeez. Oh, it's one of those cliffs. That's where it came off. <laughs> Look at this. Do you think we can do this? Uh, <laughs> this we're doing a, it. We're here. We've Come this far. finished, man. Yeah. Do you hear that? Yeah. Like a pig sound. Oink oink. Did you hear it? We're doing deliverance, not duel, right? Did you hear it? Seriously. I thought I did hear something earlier, to be honest, and I tried to dismiss it. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty treacherous. We've been walking for I don't even know how long. Uh, 
And all the while we're shouting, hey rattlesnakes, we're here. Because apparently yeah. if you make lots of noise, they just rattle off in the other direction. Apparently. We haven't got any proof of that yet. At uh, what point do you think we'll have to start drinking our own? <laughs> I don't think we're there yet. Okay. Should we stick to our own or share with each other? Go the other way. <laughs> you do talk a load of sh**, Dean. Oh! That's that wild boar. We had a toilet break before we started, right? What do you think that is, seriously? Uh, I don't know. Do it's you? too small for horse, right? Yeah. Let's, let's get away. That's his let's territory. Go. Let's go. We might need to rub that on ourselves to keep the animals away. Now, Dean says he... I asked him if he had a spare hat, and he says he has a surprise, but I shouldn't turn around. So I'm filming this for legal reasons. I've yeah. got you covered. Okay. <laughs> but it's my size and not yours. It's perfect. Thanks. <laughs> let's go. That works. This actually helps a little bit. Yeah, of course it does. 5% cooler. A snake would love it. You know, when I think about if there is still little bits and pieces left, why wouldn't anyone have taken them? <laughs> when you realise the magnitude of this land and this these cliffs. Yeah. But look, just over this green hill. Uh-huh. It's our, I think where it came off, and that is the actual crash location. Over that hill. Off the top of that cliff. He went. Right. Right. It's pretty steep. I'm hearing an increasing number of bees, yeah. are you? Yeah. Watch out, snakies. Go away. I mean, I'm not worried. Don't, don't get me wrong. No. no. I'm not worried. No. What was that? I'm not worried. I'm not worried. And all this talk of bees makes me think about PCB Way, where you can get great PCBs from just $5. And did you know they even have dedicated sections, including automotive, if you need some replacement PCBs for your killer truck. Because as we all know, PCB stands for Perifractic Careful Bees, doesn't it? My God. He made it. Which, which way? Watch out, snakies. Just check out some of the landscape here. It's incredible. And we've got a chopper coming this way. That's a Chinook. Look. Chinook. Is there any competition that uh, has more money than us to recover any wreckage, do you? We are about... Two-thirds? Yeah, two-thirds of the way there. Just actually enjoying the hike at this point. It could be worse. Could be worse. Ow, it's worse. <laughs> I got a thing stuck in me. Oh. Yeah, they haven't cracked. What's this? Oh my god. <laughs> Is that a windshield motor or something? Is that a mirror? Uh, a rear view mirror? It, That's not 50 no, years old. Sure it can. Chrome. Good solid chrome in those days. And there's glass here with an identification 35F, I think, on it. Did that go in there then? Okay. Uh, I think we should just keep cracking. Oh shit. Camera's up high now because we're going through it's literal it's thorn it's bushes. Oh sh! Watch out, snakies! I'm going body first. Ah. Come on, snakies! <laughs> Come on! Come on, snakies! How will we ever get over this? I don't know. Well, I'm only five seven. This is the parking Gonna barrier. Gonna keep it as a barrier, are you? So we know it. Ow! <laughs> Sorry. Are there anybody else? Ow! Watch out, snakies! Prickly in my big toe. Oh wow, we're going through a canyon here. Oh jeez. Smells very herby. What the hell? What? White. What's white? Did we have anything in the film that's white? Just the main actors. Turn it over. <laughs> Is it stuck? Yeah, that's wedged. This seems to be no way through. That could be an old washing machine. No, we can't get through here. Could've got said washed. Could've got washed this far down and then stuck. Because there's a pipe there that looks like a sort of exhaust. I mean, there's no ridges or, or metal straps no, marks true. from each side, but... We're thinking about the one on the side of the truck. It's still a thing. Oh. It's a thing. It's going to depend on the elevation. They call them elevators, not lifts in America. They they're do? Just, they're just on another level. Oh. <laughs> well, we turned the other way. But I'm glad we did because. Who's that? It's a lovely colour. 
Maybe um, even truck coloured. Yeah, but let's hope there's nothing hiding under it, and it's not the <laughs> home you. to uh, something. Look at this detail. Look around the edge. I mean, look how thick that glass is. What could this have been if someone dumped it? Right, pull it up. Let's see. I'm very conscious of not bending it. Hello, Snakeys. We don't want to break it. Nope. Were we just handling the hood of the truck or? One of those panels oh, where, yeah. they, where they hide the chassis. Yeah. Could be a headlight. Thank you. There's a hole there. Snakeys. <laughs> don't say come on. Come on, Snakeys. We don't want to break it if it's we don't want to break historical. It, but... I'm going to drop a pin on the map. We've got photos of it. I think we should keep moving. <clears throat> Let's keep moving. Come on, Snakeys. Stop saying come on. <laughs> come on, we're nearly there. There's a fence there. And with the end in sight, but without crossing any fences, we continued on to our final destination. Mind the hedgehog? Oh. Thorns? How? How? It gets your waist, it gets my nipples. <laughs> Hold on. Do you hear something there? Watch out! Go! <laughs> I am really sorry about that. I, there was something wrong with my editing software and that I couldn't get rid of that. I've reached out to Apple's support. But either way, may I wish you a very happy Halloween. Head off. <laughs> you good? Big cobwebs. Come on, cobwebs. Yeah, this is a hike now. <sighs> I need... Catch my breath. Yeah, me too. And deep prickle my shoes. Was it this one that I said? He says no. First one to touch it owns it. Watch out. Oh, shoot. Gotta get over that little hill there. But little did we realize the hike was only now really beginning. Oh man. <laughs> oh, okay. You know when your life flashes before your eyes? That was one of those moments. I'll try carrying a bag and a metal detector. Try carrying the weight of YouTube's expectations. <laughs> okay, you good? Dean's life's about to flash before Dean's eyes. Ouch. He made it. <laughs> Do hear bees. Hold on. That's too dangerous. Can we go this way? Ow. Yeah, my legs are a little shorter. You made it. Yeah, it's the top of the cliff. When we say, do not attempt, we really mean, do not attempt. I may slide down, but try and make little footholds as you go, okay? You with me? Just okay. one step at a time. Hi, Hulk. Dude, I'm losing the ground that I'm standing on. Okay. Might be in that hole. Yeah. I should really take a sip of water. Oh, my water. Little bug. Ah, uh, path. Hold on, there's a skull. Oh, f hey, Scully. Where's Mulder? Yeah. Freeze. Hey, little bug. That, uh, Beast didn't make it out of here. Yeah. Yeah, it looks steep. That's right, this is steep here. My jeans were clean. You are right? As mentioned, yeah. You grab my water, please. Sorry. Yeah. Watch out, Snakeys. Oh. The camera has put itself in skiing mode. Okay, slalom. Yeah. You okay? I'm bleeding, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Could be the cliff right up there. There's an angle. There's that angle they shot. Should we take that downhill. There's whole caves there. We could move in. <laughs> we Wait. have to. Could be bears. We've got to be careful. Come on, let's go. Oh, the sun, the heat coming off this hill 
is unreal. Hey. Unreal engine. Oh. You good? Oh my ass! <laughs> is, is your bum okay? Ow. No, my bum really hurts right now. Is it calling the choppers? No. That hurt my ass. I'm it was sorry. slamming, slamming down onto it and then sliding. You didn't land in a nest of rattlesnakes, could be no. worse. You okay to keep going? Of course. F yeah. <laughs> I, oh, mean, look, I meant keep going it's... this way. Yeah. Ow. Oh. Dean's going faster than me. Ow. So many pricks. <laughs> That's just two from where I'm standing. <laughs> all looks so different now. I know. So the map says we're, it's right behind us. We stopped. <laughs> We could be sitting on the hood. It's that first bush, the first big bush. Oh. And now we're going to do the final ascent to where we might find one bolt. Grab onto a shrub. Oh. <laughs> Easy said than done. <laughs> that is steep, dude. Sorry, dude. What? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want to speak too soon. C come here. Try okay, and... Let me help you. Can you see you me? Saved your life. Look. Oh, f it's that oil drum. What's that? It's a fing cab. That's a cabin. It's a cab with a door. Oh my god. Dude. I feel like I'm in a dream. Oh, that's a cab with a door. Hold on. Could that just be another truck that someone's chucked over there? No. That's our, that's our cab doorway. Where? That's our pa one? This is our passenger door. No, that's, that's a cabin. And as we try to come to terms with what we are looking at, we're closing in on that 30 minute mark to please the YouTube algorithm gods, which means that it's here at the bottom of this cliff that we have to leave you on a bit of a cliff hanger. But don't worry, join us again after we've got our breath back by making sure you're subscribed, ready for episode two, coming up very soon here on Retro Recipes, and where you'll discover with us whether or not that's the dual truck and where we find something that has sat there for over 52 years and that we were absolutely not expecting. Until then, thanks for watching. Subscribe and support below, and cheerio. It must have fell off when they hoisted it up. If that's not the cab of the truck, I'll eat it. One man can make a difference, Perry. Or one woman. Or dog. The Fractics. Lone curators in a vintage world. The world of retro recipes. Dude, the shoe. Oh, fuck.